Hi everybody, we'll be looking at busy roundabouts and how to get out of busy roundabouts, how to find gaps. So if you're watching this clip now and you're thinking, can I go, can I go, and you're unsure, and you can see all the traffic on your right, and you're just making you uncertain about can you go, um, then I'm hoping this next five or six minutes is going to help you to clear things up, it's going to give you some tips, it's going to give you lots of things to think about at the end of the video. If you do like the video, by the way, give it a thumbs up, feel, fresh, feel free to share it, and uh, if you're new to my channel, click on the like button. So we're going to be looking at three areas on roundabout. So the, the first bit of this clip here is to slow down to give you an idea. So when you see cars on your right, look at where they are. So this black car is pointing off, it's not pointing towards us. The silver car is pointing towards us. See as it comes around, it's near the island where the grass is on, the, on our, our left, followed by the black car. So they're coming towards you. And the, the, the black car in the distance is coming off. This is the follow the one. See how far away they are? They're pointing off to our right. And there's a, another car who's pointing off it also, followed by the silver car entering the roundabout. And the white van's pointing off, he's not pointing towards you. And when you see the, 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 dis, the cars in this, is, that's that truck, it's not indicating left, but it's coming towards us. So you can work out, I mean, I'm sure your instructor said to you, look at the indicators, look at what they're up to. But also look at the position of the, of the cars. So that's grey car and it's coming off. As this truck goes out of the way, we'll have a better look at what's going on. There's two cars coming towards us, so we can't help it. We've got to give way to them at that point. And then the back van in the distance is coming off. It's pointing off. It's not pointing towards us, so gap to go. That's why all the trucks are going. So if we also look at the position when you stop in, so I'll point out, I'll paint a white line. You've got two, two vans there. The, the first van furthest away is really next to the white line. That's where you want to be. The second van with the, white, with the red arrow is about three or four foot from the white line. Now you really need to be up to the white line if you're in this position. So here's another picture. So if you get up to the white line, you can see exactly what's happening on your right. And you'll also get away from the runabout quicker because if you're about three or four foot short, you're not going to be get away too quick. So by the time you get to the white line, the gap on your right's narrowed. So get up to the white line and you'll see a lot more on your right and you'll get out on the roundabout a lot quicker than what it's actually giving you. So another thing then, what's that on the right? I've already mentioned it. You can see the cars there. They're pointing off. The silver cars coming towards you. These are little photos I, I took. The, the, red, the, the white van's pointing off. It's not pointing towards you. The black cars are pointing off. They're not pointing towards you. Look at the indicators on, on the, the truck. Uh, it's not indicating, so it's going to come towards you. The, gr the grey car next to the island is turning the wheels. It's, it's going to come towards you, followed by the black car who's, who's entered. And then the black car in the distance is pointing off the roundabout. It's not pointing towards you. So you, you, you can see what they're up to. I know it's easy when you slow these things down, but as you get better at roundabouts, you'll read these things faster. You'll read the traffic, what it's up to. And then there's another car in the distance on the left coming round. It's not coming towards us. It's coming off. There's a close-up of them there. You can see it's pointing off. So I talk about blockers on, on roundabouts. So if you can't get out because all the traffic on your right is coming towards you, then glance across to your left. You know, so we're, we're going to pan across in a few seconds and we're going to look at the traffic on the left and see what they're up to. At the moment, we can't get out. There's too much traffic coming towards us. So you look across to your left, and this is quite a lot of traffic who are trying to enter a roundabout. Now, if we look at three things there, there's a red car, dark red, about to enter, followed by a white van, a large white van with a roof rack. They're entering, them two, one after the other. You can, you can see these little snapshots. There goes a red car, followed by the white van. And then in the distance, there's another white van, a smaller one, behind him. But he's not going to make it because there's two cars on the roundabout going round, but then he's going to make it then. So if we look across to our right, there comes a red car. That's why these cars next to me are pulling out. So there's suddenly a gap developed. And then there's a white van with a roof rack. So it's two, two blockers stopping traffic coming through. Here comes traffic, followed by the small white van, blocking the traffic again, giving you opportunity to get out. So it gives you, an, and there's another white van, followed by in there, it's coming around. So the blockers on your left are quite good 
that's stopping traffic in slow motion so here comes the red one followed by the white van and then a small white van after the gap so you've got two two blockers coming round which is a bit like think of like a bus stuck together stopping all the traffic so as they're entering you should be thinking at this point i'm in first gear get the gas on get the biting point ready and i know i'm not looking yet but that's when you should be thinking right look across to your right look at what's happening on your right looking for that traffic coming round because you know when they come round there's going to gap developed see that the traffic's not coming through that's why the traffic's moving off here comes the white van the roof rack that's why the traffic's moving off again then the traffic on the immediate right's coming through then they're all stopping for the small white van so another gap develops again which means you can get out again that's why the white van right in front of us now is pulling out and see the traffic on the air and up nothing pointing towards it now this is in real time now as you see it this is what's happening so as you see traffic on your right look across to your to your left there's the red car there's the white van that's what you're looking for you're looking for what the um, next to the island you've got the indicators on that's what you're looking for and you'll see the indicators better it's hard to see on the video but the indicators are actually on at that point so as you're thinking right they're coming around indicators are on pan across back to your right hand side to see when they're coming around and get yourself ready to move off because you know there's going to be a gap that's why a van shot off there's a white van they're all moving now traffic's coming through you know there's another white van there's another gap coming through again so there's gaps there for you so the final thought is if you keep practicing you're going to get good at spotting gaps you know so make sure you're quite good at pulling off with your clutch control because that's quite important on busy roundabouts no point in waiting and installing and look for gaps you know look for the traffic coming around look for the indicators look see if they're pointing off they're not pointing towards you and you can see the you know I look at this traffic here they're, they're all pointing off you've got the, the grey car coming around the white van pointing off giving you a gap to get out car coming around the truck coming around you know so at the moment you can't get out because that truck's blocking everything there's a gap behind the truck though because that car is stopping them it's only a small gap and that van coming off there is giving you gaps to get out so that's why they all shot out then you know, if you, if you can't take that gap, you wait for the next one. So you're looking again. Look across to your right. There's a white car coming around, possibly. Oh, there's a, a red a red one there. There's an indicator one. You see the indicator quite clearly. As you look across, you're looking for that red car coming around. And here comes a red car, stopping the traffic. You're out straight away. So you, you can see the gaps. You can spot the gaps. Okay, so I'm opening this video up. If it does help you, then... Safe driving and good luck on them roundabouts.